Hi, everyone. It is February 21, 2021. Oh, boy. It's good to be back. I feel like I'm back home. These uh, community violations, community guideline violations that leave you with either a week or two weeks where you can't post causes an awful lot of disruption for me. I'll speak for myself. And it's not good. The censorship is getting really intense. And I don't like it. And there will be a day when we no longer have access to one another. And I don't even want to think about that right now. I want to read some comments and then show you what took place and is taking place in Texas, though it's not just Texas. It's Arkansas. It's Missouri. It's Michigan. It's Oregon. Oregon, people have been without power for seven days, some 10 days. Yeah, their ice storm, trees falling on homes. People can't live there anymore. Oh boy. Having done this for about 10 years and trying my best to put together videos showing the massive destruction that has been taking place. Well, I've been doing it since 2010. It's phenomenal. But when you think about those places that have been hit over and over again, Oregon, all of the fires, now ice storms, no power, uh, people's homes that are still standing, well, they can't live in them anymore. Um, Texas, 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 Texas. Louisiana also had, uh, is, 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 present tense, going through their own water crisis. They, a whole lot, don't have water. Uh, burst pipes, same in Arkansas and Missouri. Oh, boy. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. But a whole lot of people, based on the videos that I've been watching regarding what's taking place in Texas, people who just got their homes back together again, after Harvey, now they're leaving their homes. Burst pipes. Oh, boy. All right. It is a mess. And I gather this person is in Texas, but I want to go back to Missouri. I have no water still due to pipe damage. This was far beyond anything I have ever seen, and I have lived in the north as well. This wasn't natural. It was 5 degrees three days ago, and 70 today. Something's very wrong. Ah, yes. When man controls the weather, something is very wrong. I hope that your home is okay. I hope that this is not a major thing for you, Dean. I hope that you have resources to restore your home. Texas is being put in its place. The powers that be don't like that everybody is moving there and moving their businesses there. I believe this is retaliation. It's an asymmetrical war, folks, and it's only going to get worse. It is only going to get worse. So, you guys who haven't yet to experience the fabulous fabulous weather being used as a weapon. It's not fun. Prepare. Prepare. Um, but I do want to say this. Even though mainstream media focuses really on one particular area and Texas was particularly bad, it's not just Texas. We're all being put in our place. All of us. This is truly, uh, you know, uh, evil versus good. It is not conservative versus liberal. It is not, uh, you know, 
but I get a lot of comments from people saying, you know, oh, look, you know, it's the power outages are only in the um, lower uh, income neighborhoods. Can't remember exactly what the comments are, but it no. <laughs> Rich people, those people who have money. And look, considering everything that we have lived through just this past year, just this past year, please don't. Assume that when you drive by a house and it looks all fancy and you see a car sitting in the driveway and you go, ooh, wouldn't that be nice? I'd love to have it. Don't think that these people living in that home are just A-OK. Some are, but a whole lot are not. A whole lot are freaking out because their businesses have been destroyed. Their livelihood has been destroyed. They've lost their jobs. They can't find another job. People can't pay their mortgage or facing eviction. Don't make these presumptions because it's dangerous. Just because somebody lives in a house that looks like they have money, that's all it is. It's that appearance. You don't know what's going on inside. You know, the war. They're also setting people up. You know, it's it. Oh, black versus white, rich versus poor. You know, I don't know. It's this country is such a friggin' mess. In Arkansas, yeah, there is so much talk about utility bills. And that is going on all over. I'm in San Antonio. We lost power for a day and a half. We drove around a few times to charge up my phone uh, to get some internet. Most places were closed. Fast food places that were opened had long lines in the drive. drive throughs We have a boil water order. Stores are wiped out of food at the moment. I won't even go until the craziness ends good, smart, smart plan. Um, Stocked up on food last fall and we have our camper in the driveway. We were able to go in there for heat and to cook. I know many people had busted pipes and there are long lines at good banks here. Long lines for food banks? I think that's food banks, not good banks. I think. Okay. Yes, there are. People don't have food, don't have water, busted pipes, thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Busted pipes just in Texas, but then you got the busted pipes in Arkansas and Missouri and Oregon. All right, this, I'm getting comments from people saying that my links aren't working. Let's check it out. Let's just check it out feels good to be back here with you guys. So, um, I got to it. They work for me. They work for me. Hi, everyone. It is February 21, 2021. The Sorry. Um, I don't know. works for me. So, I don't, look, ah, isn't the cyber world fun? Don't know what to tell you. What the heck just happened to all your videos from last year? I posted a video explaining this on library, explaining this on uh, my backup, to my backup channel, Never Lose True 3 Kafka. I took them down. I got rid, and it was too hard because I have so many videos that I've posted. I just took them all down to get rid of all of the coronavirus videos because they're taking down channels. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. But they're also taking down my uh, videos on weather weather 
And I showed in the videos that I posted on the library and my third channel uh, here on YouTube th that there were other videos, videos about the Jesuits. They were taking down um, videos that I would never have expected to have received a strike, community guideline strike. So they're taking down... They're getting rid of all of us. Anybody who speaks the truth, they're getting rid of us. So I still have videos. I, you know, I don't know how long. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Uh, other people who post, it's really not fun. I'm so glad to hear from you. It looked like they had taken down all your videos from last year miss you. Well, I missed all of you, and I am so glad to read your comments. I really did. This was hard, The this two-week. A lot of it had to do with having just moved to Montana and being in an unfamiliar place. You know, I need, I need my staples. I need familiarity, and my channel is that. So, and I need to hear from you. I need your support. I need your kindness. I need, I need you guys. So thank you. Um, I took down my videos. Just want to make that clear. It wasn't YouTube because all of the coronaviruses, uh, if you have coronavirus videos on your channel, take them down. Take them down. Get rid of them because they will take you down. Oh boy. So the saying goes, don't mess with Texas. What is the people of Texas going to do? What are the people of Texas going to do? My guess, nothing, but just bow down as we all do nothing. Not just Texas. People are bowing down all over the place. And that's why they are fully capable of bringing on the kind of destruction that, well, suddenly you're, well, I guess some people are still enjoying life, you're living your life, and then in an instant it changes and you are surviving life. So... Uh, you know, don't mess with Texas. Texas is no longer Texas. Texas, it, they still claim that Texas is red, and I guess it is, maybe. But it has been infiltrated by blue. And it is no longer the Texas it used to be. And that is based on what I have heard from my subscribers. And a whole lot of Texans are not happy about it. Portland, Oregon. So sorry, Jerry. Portland, Oregon. Many were without power for seven days and more. There was an ice storm with wind. Power went out at 11.49 p.m. last Friday night, I was not able to reach my car due to ice on my uphill path, and I, I have been stuck in my cottage without heat except for candles and clay pots. Finally able to get out and find a motel five days later on Wednesday, and who knows how many others got stuck in their living quarters without heat. A whole lot still uh, approximately, I think, 30,000 in Oregon still have no power. And PG&E saying, sorry, but you may be without power. Oh, for several more days, perhaps a week. <laughs> Stupid, do you really think Texas is that a food? You people are being played. Don't stock up on food and water. 
that creates a real problem? Relax, Texas is not out of food. Yeah, hey, relax, man. Okay, look. I, I, th this kind of mentality, I do not understand. There are people who are sitting in lines hours after hours after hours waiting to get some food. They're lining up to walk into supermarkets where an awful lot of shelves are mm, empty. I've heard from my subscribers who have said, one of them posted a video today, Martinez, um, oh, is it Martinez Country Homestead? Uh, uh, sorry. But, um, he said his wife went to the supermarket, no eggs, no bread, no water. I'm hearing from every subscriber in Texas, no water. Now, do they have food? Can they get the food there? Well, a whole lot have said, I couldn't even walk out of my house because of how icy it was. Delivery trucks have not been able to drive on so many roads, and they closed down a whole lot of roads. Now, Texas, yeah, it's got food. But is it getting to the consumer? That's the problem. And is this deliberate? Well, a whole lot of us believe it is. So it doesn't matter if there's food in Texas. It matters if it's getting to the people who need the food. There are people that do your slave work so you can live with a silver spoon in your mouth. Who the hell is this guy? Who the hell is this guy? Don't like you. Sorry. Um, I'm in Missouri, and it's been three weeks of below zero. All my pups are busted. Jesus. Sorry. I'm sorry. How do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Sorry is such like a, ugh. I mean, I just hope to God that you have the resources to fix your home up. They are talking about Michigan's gas prices going up and gas electric bills are up too. I wish Shit would just hit the fan already. I'm sick of living in this society. Same pseudo-suicidal feeling over here. Whole lot. My 10 years, wow. Whole lot. Ready to go. Ready to go. I understand. I really understand. And you know what? It's only going to get worse. So how do we support one another? We've got to figure out how to support one another. This is not a joke. You know, I just wish that there was just forget about a state, you know, just an area of the country where we could just go and they would leave us alone. You know, just this, uh, it's a, it's a, you know, insane free zone. We've got these tech companies that are building their own. Corporations are building their own, their own cities. And for some reason, they're able to do that. They can do that. You know, and they have their own laws. And wow, man, why can't we do it? Oh, right. We're not a corporation. We're not big tech. We're just little, little, little people here in America. They just want us gone. So they have to pay more money for something they didn't create. We all need to stop paying these people. It's ridiculous. Energy is all around us, but they make us pay for it. Shaking my head. I'm shaking my head too. We all need to stop paying these people. I did say in a video that I posted... 
Oh, it was this video. Okay. Turn off your online auto pay for anything because your electric, if you have that auto pay online where the utility company just goes right on into your bank account and takes your money out, you better disable that online auto pay because electricity bills are going up. And you know what? The mayor of Houston came out and said the people should not have to pay for the mistakes of the electric company. You burst pipes and everything, the damage that they have caused, don't pay. Now, if one or two people don't pay, they get destroyed. But hey, how about organizing? Figure out a way to talk to people in your community and organize. Why was the National why wasn't the National Guard airdropping supplies? Why aren't they there? They are there. They are there. National Guard was in Texas five days ago doing wellness checks. Now they are using those huge military planes that I can't even think of the name of them right now to deliver water because the roads are too icy. So they are there. National Guard is in Oregon doing their wellness checks and bringing supplies to people. So are they there in the way that they could be? No, of course not. And I think they, they, they call in the National Guard and they do a little bit, but, but it's all to make people say, okay, they have help when they really don't. When I saw a news photo of a Texan with a cowboy hat and mask on, I knew we were screwed. Great comment. One thing is, if the power is off, how can they disable the auto pay on the bill? And then, okay, this is the response. Phones, they work on battery and chargeable pretty much everywhere. Uh, use brains much. You know what? The use brains much. What's the point of that? What is the point of that? I actually thought the same thing. I thought, okay, how are they to disable the auto pay if they don't have the internet? Well, duh, Carol. Use your brains much? Now, it's a very innocent uh innocent uh, lapse of, you know, thinking or whatever, you know, but why do people feel like they just need to, like, grind people down? Okay, but the response of the person who original the original commenter, timed pieces, Tennessee, gosh, no need to be a dick, we all saw how much help those phones were in the millions of cold, hungry, scared people, even if charged. If power is off at the company, um, oh, how do they stop the auto pay coming out then, genius? Okay. And obviously you get your jollies making mockery of others. They're, you know, I'm tired of it. There's no reason for this kind of comment. So, um, but he's absolutely right. Guess what? The websites were down. A whole lot of people didn't have power and couldn't leave their homes. How? They didn't have power for, and it wasn't rolling. They didn't have power at all for days. And if they couldn't leave their home, wh how? where do they charge their phone? Oh, well, they could have done it in the car. Gas was a problem. But, you know, I don't get it. Anyway, get prepped for the next big storm forecasted in the south next weekend. Tornadoes, flooding, ice, snow. Okay, Mike Morales. That's the name of Mike Morales' channel. 
and he's on the weather. So if you don't know Mike Morales, put in Mike Morales into the search bar, subscribe, and watch his uh, shows or his videos talking about the weather, talking about the weather manipulation, and how he forecasts, I don't know, because I, I couldn't now. I began to, uh, when I began to learn uh, what was happening on radar and satellite, and so that was like eight years ago, uh, seven years ago. I can't, I don't know what the hell's going on. You know, they have, the radar satellite completely changed. I know that when I see what appears to be rain, it's not raining there, um, you know, with all of the plasma going on, and I, I, I'm, they have like nanotechnology, the nanobots hanging out. I'll show it to you right now. All right, first. Wow, this thing is growing in length. It's tall, it's skinny, but it's tall. Okay, nanobots. This is nanotechnology that you are watching fill itself out. This tail. I have spoken of the tail. The tail in Texas or the Gulf, this is the plasma, and these rings have a name to them, and I can't remember what they are, but are you experiencing rain in this area, Kentucky, um, Arkansas, Washington? And I took a video earlier today, um, it was at 9.52 a.m. Now, I'm now, am I mountain time, Montana? I think so. Well, look at it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Check this out. This is what it looked like hours before. And this is what it looks like now. Okay, so would I have known that they were going to be bringing rain in this area? There's no way. You know, look at the cloud coverage. Oh, and look how nicely defined is this cloud. You know that when you have these straight lines, it's not Mother Nature because Mother Nature works in a circular pattern. She does not work in right angles and very neatly defined lined clouds, but she also never produced little, little, little cloud dots that hang out in the periphery of land. nanobots, nanotechnology. I have videos on my playlist, weather modification, so you can check them out if you don't know anything about nanotechnology and how they have now uh, created yet another method of weather creation, modification, manipulation, intensification, and, um, but I also, okay, you see all of this cloud, thick, thick, very manufactured. All they have to do is shoot a laser into this cloud, and they could bring about a whole lot of rain. How will I know if they're going to do that? I don't. I'd have to be an insider. So I don't know how anybody is predicting weather uh, these days that are not insiders. 
But I will say this, Mike Morales focuses on weather. And I don't. I focus on everything. Or I'm just a general, general kind of gal. So all of this is not natural. All of it is manufactured. And it's very easy, very easy for them to create a whole lot of destructive weather right in this thick cloud. Very easy for them to bring in the nanobots, which they often do from the Gulf. Our clouds didn't flicker. Now they do. So, this is your nanobot tail. I could get this weather. I, I could get a community guideline strike. What the hell? How do, how do you post on YouTube anymore? I don't know. I'm tired of getting shafted. So, Mike Morales showing next week's storm last night, and it's not looking good. I'm in Tennessee, and they're spraying the shit out of the skies. I'm just hoping everyone is prepping for the next one. Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to get a wind storm here in Montana. All right. Did they ever forecast wind storms? I don't remember that growing up. I don't remember it in my early adult years. I only remember it in the recent years. Wind storm forecasted. Yes, people ignore reality, ignore the lies, ignore the fraud and corruption, and they're all delusional and crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Guess it's like the Emerald City. Very strange. It is very strange. Bigfoot gotcha? Nope. I'm here. All right. My home pipe burst, and some flooding happened. It was cold. We couldn't use the water for days. We got lucky and found water for our family and relatives. It was not pleasant. And it came fast. You guys, prepare. It comes fast. It comes when not only are you not expecting it, you didn't believe it could actually happen in the area where you live. Understand, when man controls the weather, man can bring that weather anywhere. Anyone know if the National Guard and supplies were sent to Texas? Yes, but, but not enough. Not enough. I'm in northeast Kentucky. Day 12, no power, no landline, phones, no internet. Our cell service just came back yesterday. Well, that guy who's, you know, claiming that people are an idiot for thinking, how the hell are they going to disable their online auto pay if they have no electricity? Who's the idiot now? So many power poles snapped in half, trees, limbs down everywhere. We aren't expecting power until March. Oh, my God. Twelve days. Okay. See, I'm from the Northeast, um, New York, Massachusetts. I, I'm used to these power outages. But you know what? They weren't as destructive as they are now. Now, the weather, the, the temperature has changed. So when it's 32 degrees, I've said this often, in South Carolina, when it would get cold, there was an icy feeling to it, like it hurt. 
So they've changed the atmosphere. I'm in Austin. I survived in my camper, which I got to survive the I got to I got the camper to survive the destruction of COVID-1984. I had power, but in my camper it was 40 degrees. I have water, but I can't drink it. There's no food or water to buy. I found two one-liter bottles at 7-Eleven, but they wouldn't sell it to me because I didn't have a mask. How much more can I take? I think there may actually be a God, and he is definitely trying to kill me. Well, Wendy, I identify. Um, I have identified. Okay. Campers. Uh, I'll post a video on things that people can buy that are not expensive in order to survive better the next time this happens. Washing a load of laundry in Austin and the water stinks so bad. Probably dumb on my part. Baking soda, soda and hydrogen peroxide added to the wash cycle will disinfect your laundry. One cup each. I love it when people put useful, helpful comments. Wise to be prepared. Something to consider. Wheat grass powder. A spoonful contains vital nutrients you can't get from canned goods. Another thing we stock up on is diatomatrous, uh, diatomatrous, diatomaceous earth because it kills parasites. Wheat grass powder. That is something that is good for you and that you can store and you can have it on hand if you can't be cooking for a while. Yeah, it's very important to have things that will provide the kind of energy that you need to get through something like this. Oh, what the hell? I'm getting so many of these types of comments and it's pissing me off because I spend an awful lot of time doing this and I'm tired of it. And it didn't go okay. Um, site can't be reached on both of your links. I don't know what's going on. Life would be easier and simpler if we could actually trust each other and if we were somewhat on the same page. Yeah, trust is necessary in society. That's why I have said, please, you know, always speak honestly. Don't lie. Why do you think we're living this nightmare? Because we've got too many friggin' liars. And they're, they're destroying life. That's what you do when you lie. You destroy life. This is not, it's not something to take lightly. You can't trust people who lie. And this is a time when people really need to trust one another. You can't rely on people who lie. So you're left alone. Oh, man. And I've met so many. So many. And I'm sure a lot of you have too. This Texan is disabling auto pay right now. Good for you. All right. Yeah, this is... It's a really hard time. And we need to be a little bit easier on one another in the comment section. You know, don't strike out at people. And look, it's, it's very innocent to just kind of like, you know, all right, thinking about it, no power. How are they going to 
I'm, everybody does it. Everyone. You know, you just have like a, a stupid moment or, you know, a lapse of, you know, think, so what? Doesn't mean somebody, you know, is brainless or stupid. Or, it gets me really upset and I don't want to see it on my channel. Because I want people to feel like they can just write what they feel, what they're thinking, without, you know, being judged or being crucified. We do need to be kinder. And more patient and more supportive and loving. I missed all of you who, you know, were not subscribed to my backup to my backup. I don't know when I can post on my backup because they won't tell me. So please, underneath the video, I do have links. Apparently, those links are not working for an awful lot of people. I don't know what's going on. But I'll also link to Mike Morales' channel. And again, all I can say is prepare, please. I'm going to post another video after this. And you'll understand why. I hope everybody's doing okay. If you're not doing okay and you want to leave a comment, you know, I, I hope you do. I hope you get support for the comment. If you need help, I hope that people extend the help. We really do need to help one another. Ciao, guys.